Right, here's another fast tip for fast lives. I've trademarked that, by the way. I've got this part, this Igus Igladadu, and I want to put that into a content center family. So I could download every single one. That would be a pain. There's a lot quicker way you can do it using the data sheet and an iPad. So first off, I've just drawn a sketch like this, and then I've just named all the parameters the same as what's in the data sheet. So this one's B1. So what I do, go to the data sheet, copy all this, go to notepad, paste it in there. This just kills all the formatting from the PDF. Then paste it into Word. Check that out. We go to insert, table, convert text to table. It's going to guess how many columns it is. That looks right to me. Don't want any of this tolerance stuff in the middle. So I'll bin that off. Then I'm going to copy all that. Go back to Inventor. And I'm going to create an iPad. So what I normally do is I'll delete all these out because I want to put it in the order that I want. I also usually make the part number into the file name. So I'll just quickly go here. We want D1, D2, B1. D1, D2, B1. There we go. Magic. And then I'm going to edit the table via spreadsheet. Here goes Excel. Got the part number. So remember I copied all that stuff from Word. Boom! Check that out. Just need to have individual member numbers. So Just use a bit of Excel with... with, with, with Wizardry. Wizard Whitebeard, there we go. Save it, close it. Boom! Calculates me an iPad table. Do you wish to update? Yep. Check all them out. And then just to make sure I go through everyone. Just to make sure the sketch isn't like exploding in the background or something. There you have it. Every single part from the data sheet, although I did miss the second column of that table because I couldn't be bothered. And now we can just publish the part to Content Center. Everything's happy. Kaboom! Check that out. Don't forget to subscribe.